Azure Glean to war. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officers' Academy closed its doors. After ascending the throne, Dimitri labors to bring peace to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. With Edelgard ruling as the Emperor of Adrestia and Claude leading the Leicester Alliance, the three erstwhile schoolmates strike out as the next generation of leaders. A new era is dawning in Fodlan, and much teeters at the brink of great change. The first tremors of a major upheaval rock the land as Edelgard declares war on the Central Church. So it's apparent to me that Dimitri does not have his eye patch yet, so that means it's going to happen later. Pardon my lateness, Your Majesty. Felix, you look snazzy. You needn't worry, Felix. I know your duties are many. Though, I'm afraid we could not wait for you to begin the discussion. I love this that armor on his chest. It looks really good. Of war against the Central Church, yes? Indeed. As you're aware, we have already begun accepting refugees from Garrett Mock. That's very kind of you, um, Dimitri, not Felix. Ago, I received a confidential request from Seteth, asking us to protect the higher-ranking members of the church, including Lady Rhea herself. Hmm. Of course, we'd only meet this eventuality were Garrett Mock to fall. Yeah, if only Aelgar was going to attack it. We find ourselves quite literally stuck between the Empire and the church. I'm not sure how much longer we can remain neutral. If I might, Your Majesty, troubling as it may be, I believe it prudent for us to reject this proposal from the church outright. He's evil because he uses big and complicated <laughs> words. That's how you know he's evil. Serve to provoke an invasion from the Empire. This matter of the Southern Church concerns me as well, but... I believe we have more important matters to be fussing over at the moment. Okay. Your counsel is much appreciated, Viscount Elidor, but I assure you, things are not as cut and dry as you make them out to be. True, true. The mandate granted to the King of Fargus and all the lords who serve under him is given legitimacy only by the grace of the Church. Are we to renounce the very heart of this kingdom simply because we shudder at the thought of invasion? Oh, anyone should share the thought of invasion. Mm. War will always come at one point or another, and some degree of suffering is purely inevitable. You know this as well as I, Viscount. It's Viscount. Don't you, you watch Crash Bash videos? Do you? No, and not Crash Bash. Will not um, your lands in the north as it does ours. It's that thing that Black Mage Maverick did uh, a no input run on. It's a it's a party game, but he did not like discussion. it at all. But if Garrick Mock were to fall, the war fronts would not halt in the west. Yeah, the important <laughs> stuff like at a person's video said the plot. Or the others in the south. Not a word from Count Roe as it stands. But I did receive a missive from Count Galatea. It read, My people are not fools enough to rejoice in the surrender of their territories to invaders. There is no morality in turning our backs on the institution at the very foundation of our lives. We must support the Church as they have supported us. Your Majesty, is that what he said verbatim, or is that just the... the um, church for um, their role in quelling the uprising two years ago. The stay guy version. To not repay such generosity and kind would risk weakening the trust of your vassals. Vassals, I love that word. And if that happens, we might find ourselves right back in the same mess as before. They lack the crest of Oh man, I love these costumes no they have. Number of nobles who might crawl out of the woodwork claiming royal blood. Like Violet. The kingdoms already seen the turmoil and division such claimants can bring after the death of King Klaus. But Duke Fraldarius, surely we are better served attempting to head off the very real and imminent war at hand instead of debating hypothetical unrest? Hmm, okay. I don't want my people to suffer the pain of conflict. But does anyone here really think the Empire will simply stop if we appease their every demand? No, that's how they walk Suppose all over you. Suppose we do let the Empire take the Archbishop. 
And suppose we accept this new southern church. Then what? I imagine the Empire plans to install the bishop of the southern church, Count Varley, in Lady Rhea's place. I fear I've heard nothing good concerning either the man himself or his teachings. They purport to That's be the of the Church safe. of Seros. The Southern Church is nothing more than a mouthpiece for the Empire at large. In other words, rejecting the Central Church in favor of this new Southern one would be no different from flat out accepting Imperial rule. And it's if you hard say so. to say just how they would treat our kingdom were such events to unfold. Though I imagine it would involve heavy taxation for the express purpose of bleeding Fargus dry and filling the Imperial coffers. <sighs> Do you have something to add, Duke Fraldarius? Not really, no. I was just wondering how long we were planning to continue this tedious charade. Ooh, Felix is not happy. The question's simple. Do we hand over our kingdom and subject <clears throat> ourselves to imperial rule? Sorry, my throat's giving me problems. I believe the Margrave has been quite clear as to what will happen if we give in to the Empire's demands. We've all been informed of the rapid reformation their region has undergone. Many aspects of which I admire, I'm not ashamed to say. But an old, stubborn land like ours isn't suited for such tempestuous change. Oh, I love that word, temptation. Radical new freedoms are not what the people of Fargus need right now. They need stability, steady improvement in their daily lives, and real, lasting change can only come from a solid foundation. Sounds like your majesty has made up his mind then. Just say the word and we'll leap into action. <clears throat> The Holy Kingdom of Fargus will hereby offer asylum to the Church of Seros. Oh, so they're crazy. Everyone, <laughs> That's just a joke. Sharpen your blades and prepare for the battles ahead. Will do. Gustav, to do, make to ride at once. Our intentions must be made clear. Okay. Not only to the Church and the Empire, but to Count Roe as well. And all the like Russell Crowe, who playing Zeus. I just sons. thought I mentioned that because why not? Understood, Your Majesty. I love his voice, the dude's voice. It's great. Hey, did you hear? It sounds like oh, we're going to be going to war with the Empire. Cool. Yeah, I'm aware. Ever since His Majesty ascended the throne, we've been fighting battle after battle through every corner of Fargus. Mm hmm But I never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the actual Empire. I'd be nervous if it even felt real. Um, let's emphasize with her. Um, it's even though it does not appear that we can war, increase her relationship. I have a weird feeling about this too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you uneasy? I didn't even think that was possible. But I suppose you learn something new every day. I can't help but wonder, though, what happens to Fargus now? I feel like things have been steadily improving lately, but not everyone favors His Majesty as I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear the grumbles too. But there's not a ruler in the world who doesn't have their fair share of critics, right? True, All I true. know is, we wouldn't be where we are now if not for him. I mean, look at me. Saddled with some mysterious power we don't know anything about, and he still chose to Oh yeah, to just disclose that with a random knight, why don't you? It's only right I return the favor in kind. Oh, and speak of the devil. Ooh, Dimitri? Am I interrupting something? Dimitri, it's nice to see your beautiful blue eyes. No, of course not. Please, allow <laughs> me to take my leave. Keyword eyes. Come I like making eye jokes, because he'll go blind soon. So, in one eye. you heard all that, huh? <sighs> More or less. Hey, Dimitri, I noticed that you have three no, eyes. You might have one less down the line. But there's an urgent matter. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm really rude. Anything I can do to help? There is. As you know... We've offered asylum to the Central Church in their efforts to flee the Empire. So was Third Eye Beast penis? <laughs> As such, I'm really to gross the today, aren't I? To the Royal oh my god. I expect heavy pursuit from the Imperial forces, so I am assembling a team of those I trust most to assist in the mission. Of course, I'll be leading my own regiment into battle, but I was wondering if you'd be willing to accompany me. 
Oh, heck yeah. You actually look like a lion with right, that mane that down it? there. I'd be glad to. How are things looking at Garrick Mach while we're on the subject? Grim. Neither the Knights of Seros nor the Monastery Ramparts are capable of holding off the Empire's massive military might. Massive military yes, might. That's an alliteration. To waste. Prepare to deploy at once. Okay. But we won't be able to do a story chapter in their words. Good, I can see what all their new costumes look like, which I'm so intrigued, actually. This looks exactly the same, just with blue. I imagine you can improve the camp. <laughs> we get some living quarters. <laughs> We've already had this conversation, like in the other parts. That reminds me. Yeah, this camp has something. Oh, LCC versus mercenaries you got? Okay. Um. Ooh, Roderick is now playable. Annette has rejoined you. Some use of gain new equipment. I want to see what they look like, because I'm really curious. Okay, uh, Shaz, I'm okay with. Dimitri looks awesome. Dudu, we saw earlier, looks pretty dope, too. Felix. Felix looks pretty dope. I like how the cape moves. That's a great touch. Ash. Ash does not look bad. You're not a sword wielder. Sylvain. Uh, I liked you better before, but you're okay with that, Sylvain. Mercedes. Oh, okay, I like it. Uh... Again, the internet would hate me if I didn't do that. Um, I don't really like Annette's um, look, but okay. Ingrid looks awesome and badass. Roderick. Um, okay, he is... I want some mage, but I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, so the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. We gotta speak with Dimitri. He's gonna make us do some quests to build the place up. Because, of course, he is. Yeah. Speak with Dimitri, which I am happy to. Um, he's not where they normally are. He's right there. Throw me off. Okay. Mm. Oh, I was waiting for you, Shaz. Allow me to explain our plan of action. How about this? Let us first look at this map. Okay. We are preparing to march for the camp, which is located here. Once we are ready to advance to Avil for the Valley of Torment, we'll run a views of Lady Rhea. However, there are previously reports of bands disturbing the peace in the area. Have. You'll need to strike them down and restore order for us to proceed safely. Okay, makes sense. You must let your guard down, no matter who we face. Make sure you're prepared for what lies ahead. For instance, you have a chance to use the training grounds to browse the marketplace I yet. There are facilities you can do to improve your weapons and repair for battle. Be sure you make use of them. Okay. Uh, wrong thing to press. Um, we cannot fast travel yet, which is a shame. I love the fast travel mechanic. Oh, now we can do it. Uh, training, because I do want to improve some of their abilities. Okay, um... Wait, what's mock shape. battle? Test the unit's moveset. Let me try something with that real fast. Oh, it's literally just train out units. Oh, okay. Um, let's put Roderick wow, in there. Roderick has a horse. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know about two-player. Um... Well, I'm not a big fan of it. I can do it. I'll see what he plays like. Okay, um, L and B to dismount. Okay, I don't know if I'll dismount. Okay, this is this is like the character showcase place. Where? Okay, there's no. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. I guess you know this is where we'll do like some character showcases down the line. Uh, could you level up in this place or not? I doubt it, because I'd be surprised if he could. Okay, so he's a Lancer, which I'm okay with in some regard. Okay, that move was cool. The rest of the static moves are not the best, but this is pretty cool. Mm, I still love the Warfare. It's great. There we go. Beam of light, you fools. Yeah, he rides the rabbit horse. Gets you. Don't expect anything less from a seasoned veteran. I just can't look away when you fight, Rodney. Okay, that's creepy. Okay, 
So I'm actually curious if is this a drying location? Like you can actually because it appears you can. I'm actually curious. This might be a grind spot. Not as like concrete as like actually doing battles, but it looks like it might actually be one. There we go. Just obliterate you in the camp. These are probably like prisoners of war when you think about it. So yeah, this is probably like the train yard. Oh. Yeah, this is essentially where I'm going to do player showcases then. Okay, um, return to camp. Curious. It didn't look like we got any experience. So yeah, that's probably where the character showcases be like, this is where I'll show off this character. So like, cool. That's when you put the load. This is like, wow, that's a wild load. Time to work you into shape. Um, okay, train. Which is good. Um, oh, Mercedes. And let's do in Sylvain. Because Sylvain would love to be doing that. Freaking bubbles! Oh, good. They got closer. That's yeah. great to know. Um, let's change me with Shez so we can begin training. So maybe Sylvain's going to be my husbando in the uh, wolves. Let's do it again. Okay. Uh, that took a lot of ours. Level up. That would not be um, bad if we leveled them up. Less time to level them up to level 15. Yeah down the line, because I want them to be ready instead of not ready, if that makes sense. Like, that's why I'm grinding, like, all the units to level 15. Um, Felix needs to be in our next battle, like, definitely. We have not used them at all. I feel bad. Um, Ash and Syl I feel like Felix and um, Sylvain will be units I'm going to use a lot. You have to be if you want to know my honest opinion. Um, Mercedes probably, um, I'm waiting for a character that's just fun as, like, um, as Manuela. Manuela was just so much fun to play as in, um, Gold Black Eagles. I'm not playing Shamir yet, I should. We have, like, not played at all with, Sh um, Annette. Which is a shame. Okay, Ingrid. I want Ingrid to level up because I think she's also going to be one of those units I'm going to invest in. So far, I love playing with her as her as a character. Uh, there, they're all level seven. That's good. Mm. Okay. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Uh, okay, good to know. Wrong thing to press. Uh, armorer. Just buy snazzy. Welcome. Buy equipment. Um, I'm gonna give you. Ooh, we have bronze swords. That all for today? So I'll buy two of those. I wonder her to Come have them. Soon. And then the item shopkeeper. Why did I press? The strategist. Okay. That was odd. Okay. Um, I'm not interested to buy anything. Time to get to work at the strategist. Which battlefield are you headed to? Okay. What do we got? The war map. Uh, we won't be able to do the story chapter. Definitely. I think we'll be able to do two of these battles. Let's go to the selected area. To fight some bandits. Uh, Dimitri, Shez, and Ooh, this seems like a simple map. Um, Dimitri, uh, I'm gonna change you to Felix. I want Felix. In. Cut them all down. Okay, convoy. You got iron swords. You got iron swords. Okay, so you two have holy weapons. Good to know. Okay, we do have iron sword, not bron bronze swords. It looks like we were we'll playing with bronze swords. So yeah. Hope this is one of those okay, we directly go to play as Felix. Good to know. Stay strong. We can win this. It's good to know that Ingrid has a holy weapon. That's not me being sarcastic. That's just me being honest. Uh, chapter 4 onward. Um, I hope that's not true because I selected the right mode. Um... 
not actually not minefield, it's just gameplay. Um, no, um, surprising. I feel like for each of them, I need to build, like, a specific, specific team. God, that's not off. Of units. Um, that way, I know what characters to use. Benuela and Aelgar are definitely going to be the characters I'm going to use for, um, for Black Eagles. Um, I think for this one, I'm going to keep Dimitri and uh, Ingrid in. Again, there haven't there's like so much that actually happens on the camp that gets kind of annoying at times. What's his hold X? Because he has a hold X really. Whoa, that was actually pretty that's nice for crowd control. I was I was smart to avoid that. But that's a great crowd control weapon ability. So yeah, I actually kinda like playing this Felix. If I make him an assassin, that'd be great. Oh, but Dimitri leveled up. That's good to know. Um, oh, I want to be. I want to play as Ingrid. She, she has the Lancer. I like better when she had a sword. Actually, that's not a bad weapon. She froze them too. That's cool. I wonder if Dimitri's attack has changed considering he's now like wearing a scythe. Kinda has. Okay. I'm not really concerned about the side mission. I think it seems like I'm concerned. Um actually like oh okay, that's a cool ability. I was gonna say I liked him better when he was a lancer, but I actually kinda like him as a scythe. It's a nice uh change of pace. It actually feels kinda cool to play at. Dimitri, um, I could be Shez, because Shez is further along. The Tornado Blade, which I love. Um, I really, I'm surprised how much I love this game. Fire Emblem, I was doing this conversation with someone earlier, and I was like, what's my favorite game series of all time? And I think Fire Emblem, I said, was my one of my favorites. He's just like, I never miss an installment. If I do, it's because I'm busy. That Kingdom Hearts are my favorite JRPGs of all time. I love Fire Emblem Heroes, though. Uh, I like to heal. Uh, these start being better at my teleportation, but okay. Come on, destroy. There we go, and now we're going to obliterate all of you. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is going to be great for damage control right here. Just obliterate all these bandits. That's what they get for trying to steal and make money for their family. Uh, wasn't there like a Fire Emblem commercial where they like openly kill a really good character? Okay, let's hope we make it fun for him. He's a brawler. You know, there's a lot of brawlers here. I want to skip over to um, I want to use Dimitri because I want to play more with his side, which I really do like playing. Yeah, I'm, I, Dimitri's one of my favorites so far in this house, which makes sense. Compared to, like, Claude. Claude, I was really hoping to like. Um, Claude is my favorite unit in Fire Emblem, like, of all time. I love Claude. is my is my guy friend. Again, I made this joke before with my sister, which I really hope doesn't really come out to my parents. In that, I, I told you this, like, I made a joke, like, Chris Pratt is my um, husbando. I don't mind being openly joking that I'm bi. Because I'm not bi. I'm asexual, so I can openly joke what I want. Also, I know comedy, and I really don't care what people think of me at this point. I know you're like, well, we're too very evident against something. It's like, I was stupid and young. People change. So, yeah. I mean, unless you're um, John Nash. John Nash, you've seen a movie and everyone forgets about all the horrible things you've done as a person. Um, yeah, I will not. That's an interesting subject. I've had people, like, quote John Nash, like, from A Beautiful Mind, being like, this is such a beautiful line because it's a guy who had to struggle for so much. Like, yeah, he was also anti-Semitic. Okay, a lot of great people or noteworthy people in history are jerks. Okay, Ingrid, um, you're going to be on our main team. So why are you saying that? 
Maybe a uh, Mercedes instead of Felix. I don't know. I really want to keep uh, my team Dimitri, Chez, and um, Shamir. I, not Shamir. Oh, Dimitri leveled up. That's good. I'll hesitate no longer. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I really don't know. I, I really lost train of thought. I was going to say something like really profound and interesting. Uh, I want to see what special is. Is it just the long staff of doom? Long staff of doom. You won't stop me. I should have done it. It didn't. Okay. Take that. And destroy them with the staff. There we go. We feed the brawler. We won. Ha 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 ha. Never have achieved victory without everyone's help. Mainly Dimitri. I bet Dimitri's MVP. Yeah, I hate the missions that require you to save heal because they're just kind of annoying. But yeah. Oh, the field's leveled up. That's good. Oh, I thought I thought it would be Dimitri. Like, he's not really down my head. I could use this. Dimitri. I just sneeze. Hey. I don't know. It's odd at my point. Because my back hurts really much when I need to sneeze. I think it's because it's my tailbone that's hurt. Because it feels really close to my butt. Um, that's more than you need to know. But it didn't hurt to have. Just that general information about me.